My name is Shelly, and I'm with Sailor to the Sea powered by Oceana. Today we're doing one of our kids' environmental lesson plans or kelp activities, and it's all about sea level rise. Climate change is becoming a threat to our current way of life on Earth. One of the consequences of climate change is the melting of ice on our planet. Have you ever wondered what type of ice causes a rise in sea level when it melts? Is it formations on land like glaciers? or formations in the water like icebergs? Today's experiment will reveal the answer. You just need the following materials. Place half the clay in one side of each container. Form the clay to represent land rising out of the water. Make sure the highest point is level, and you can also add some rivers if you'd like. Place as many ice cubes as possible on the level place formed with the clay in the first container. This is your landlocked ice, like a glacier. In the second container, add the same number of ice cubes resting at the bottom of the container. This is your floating ice, like an iceberg. Pour water into the container with the ice resting on the bottom until all the ice is floating. Use a ruler to measure how much water is in the first container and add water to this other container until the levels are fairly equal. Record your measurements. You can even mark the container. Every hour over the next four hours or until the ice completely melts, take measurements in both containers. As you'll notice over time, the melting of the landlocked ice is causing the water level to rise, where the floating ice melting does not change the water level. Water is in an unusual liquid because it expands when it freezes. When floating ice melts, the melted water is equal only to the volume of the ice that was submerged, which means it does not contribute to additional volume to the body of water. So ice already in the ocean does not contribute to sea level rise, but ice covering land when it melts will cause the sea level to rise. If you're interested in this activity, head to our website at sailorsforthesea.org and click on kelp. We have over 50 activities to help kids understand our amazing oceans. Thanks for joining today.